Hello food lovers, welcome to Dr. Chef Kitchen and this is Dr. Madhu. There are some recipes which are very famous and you want to try it at your kitchen. There are some recipes where you go to a restaurant, love it, come back home and you want to try it at your house. But there are some recipes which are very rare, uncommon and you hardly get to eat at a restaurant. So today we're going to make one such recipe and the vegetarian lovers are going to love this recipe. It's one of its kind and a very different recipe and watch this video till the end to know how to enjoy this recipe as well. Let's start making the masala for the curry first. We need three chopped onions, two chopped tomatoes, eight garlic, two inch chopped ginger, two spoons of coriander seeds, one spoon of cumin seeds, one spoon of poppy seeds, eight green cardamom, 12 clove seeds, one inch cinnamon stick, and eight cashews. Grind these ingredients well. For this curry, I have used two cons and I have cut the cons into pieces like this. It should be one and a half inch. And if you think it's tough to cut, you can have it cut by the butcher. And once you get the shape like this, take a knife and uh, make it into small pieces like this. This is what we're going to be using in the curry. Let's get started with the making of the curry. Take 5 teaspoons of oil. To this add four green chilies, half teaspoon of turmeric powder. and two teaspoons of red chili powder and mix them well. To this add a grinded masala paste to grind it before and mix it well. You can already feel the nice flavor coming to the masala. Cook this in low frame for five minutes. After cooking in medium flame for five minutes Mix well again. The main key is make sure you're not adding too many onions. If at all you're adding too many onions for the masala gravy, please make sure you're adding spice as well, like I mean the red chili powder. Because if you're adding too many onions, we don't want the curry to be sweet in taste. So to compensate the additional onions we place in, we have to make sure we're adding the spice level as well. Because we don't want this curry to be sweet, we need it to be very nice and spicy. Now we need to put the lid and have it uh, cook in low frame for additional five minutes. The main idea is to make sure the, the raw smell of the grounded uh, paste, which has uh, ginger, garlic and onions, the smell has to go away. That's the main reason we had to fry it for some time before we add the corn. Add salt as needed and add the corn pieces. Mix it well and add half cup of tamarind juice. Cook for additional three minutes. Now add one cup of water and it's a good time to check the spice level and the salt. If there's less salt, please make sure you add it at this stage. 
this is how it should look like and now close the lid and have it cook in low flame till we get four visits now let's open the lid wow this curry goes great with rice if needed add a half teaspoon of ghee and enjoy it As mentioned before, it's just not about making the curry. You should also know how to enjoy and eat this curry. So eat the corn seeds first outside. And that's how it's going to be inside. Now you have to crush these pieces inside and make it into small pieces like this. So the juice which comes out from this piece is the best part of the curry. Try it out. It's going to be as good as soup coming from a bone marrow of a mutton piece. This is the best part of the curry and again be very careful. If your teeth are not strong, please don't try it. So while we are discussing about this since I'm a dentist, let me tell you some important aspects of dentistry and oral health. Most of us are not used to seeing the dentist regularly, but please get to the habit of visiting dentist every six months and it's very, very important because oral health is related to general health as well. Frequent dental visits helps in keeping the teeth clean, early detection of cancer, helps in preventing respiratory problems, cardiac problems, stroke, etc. And also at the same time, please make sure to brush your teeth twice a day, not once, twice a day. Floss every day at least once a day because I know we are busy in the morning time so at least get into the habit of flossing every day in the night time. Uh, rinse with your mouthwash as needed and if you are chewing a gum, make sure it's sugar free. And again, please don't neglect oral health and take it very seriously. If you have tried and liked this different traditional recipe, please post your comments below and if you are on Instagram, please take a picture and tag to Dr. Chef Kitchen. Please subscribe to Dr. Chef Kitchen for more yummy videos and follow us on Facebook.